Hello everyone, this is Decast. I'm going on a short little trip up to Knox Mountain. Knox Mountain is located north of downtown Kelowna full of some fantastic hiking trails and some scenic views of pretty much the entire Kelowna here. So overlooking uh, Lake Okanagan up ahead. It is pretty bright with the sun, not too sure how much of it you can see. So we're just entering Knox Mountain here and we'll start the climb up the hill. here but there is a fantastic hiking trail up here. The climb is approximately 300 meters so compared to North Vancouver's Grouse Grind it's it's about one-third of the elevation climb. We're heading to our first switchback here. Imagine what the views are from these houses. I feel absolutely lazy right now compared to these hikers and cyclists. That appears to be one of the lookout vistas here and I don't think I've been there before myself. just passed there was a downhill mountain biking trail. There was a bit of a bank on one of those curves there. Pioneer Pavilion. I don't believe I've been here before. So this is the view up here from Pioneer Pavilion. Oh my goodness, I gotta use my feet. This is pretty hot, I'm telling you. And this is the view from Apex Pavilion. easy descent down the hill. So this is from midway up Knox Mountain. Uh, that Prospera place here from the closer view. A lot of condos here too. I have to know in case you are not aware that Kelowna is a popular retirement destination. The summer temperature is averaging at least 30 degrees Celsius and reaching up to 40 some days. It's, it gets pretty hot here. It's like a tropical destination almost or more of a desert destination. This is Stewart Park there, so over there, that's where you have some outdoor winter skating in the winter time. 
it is artificially cooled because most of the winter it's not cold enough for the ice to stay frozen. The average uh, winter daytime highs I would say is about plus 3 Celsius. Average lows minus 3, minus 4. Now ahead of me here you see Paramount Theater and unfortunately, oh they close this road. Unfortunately they just shut down not too long ago. Now this is the lively Bernard's Avenue. It's almost the equivalent of Vancouver's Robson Street. Lifestyle.